All right, here we go, everybody. It is Friday, September 8th, and I am Kate Richberg. Welcome to Free Tip Friday with BeadShop.com. Uh, it's great to have you all here today. We're going to have a lot of fun with earrings. While everyone's jumping on first, let me have a drink of my tiny coffee. Then let me put my uh, glasses on so I can see what's going on. Everybody's here. Oh my goodness. Well, it's the place to be, right? It's Friday. It's a party. Um, <clears throat> let me do some of my due diligence here. We're going to do this project here in just a second. Oh, let me move this around. But to start everyone off, uh, I wanted to mention, of course, we've got all of our socials. Follow us on all of them. Facebook, uh, The Bead Table, Insta, Pinterest. Like and subscribe on that YouTube channel. If you're watching us live, welcome. If you're watching us on a replay, thanks for watching. Uh, you can join us every Wednesday and Friday live at 1030 a.m. Pacific. And as always, if you have any questions, you can. There it is. Email us at info at beadshop.com. And we are glad to help. All right. Uh, if you read the newsletter this morning, you have seen the inspiration for these earrings. But I'm going to show you the inspiration right now. So hold, please. For the first time in history, Levi's shrink to fit button fly 501 jeans are cut especially for women. In the only shrinking denim that tailors itself in the wash to fit every curve, like no denim you've ever worn. Shrink to fit 501s, now in the junior department, from Levi's Women's Wear. Travis, you're a year too late! You remember that? You remember? <laughs> I don't know if you remember, I told this to Drea and Drea was like, wait, what? I said, I made these earrings and the inspiration was the Travis commercial. And she started to laugh and she said, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I made her watch it. <clears throat> and that was the inspiration for this earring. Seriously. So I don't know. In high school, uh, in the early, very early 80s, my favorites were those 501 shrink to fits, right? Do you remember? Laying in the tub, putting on the jeans because they were big, laying in the tub, <clears throat> putting the water as hot as you could, getting to shrink. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, this is the Travis earring, the 501 Travis earring. That's what I get my inspirations from everywhere. <laughs> and that was these. Drea just thought that was the funniest thing she'd ever seen. I hope that you thought it was the funniest thing you've ever seen. But I wanted to play the commercial just in case you missed it. So <clears throat> let's get to the earrings. I know. Do you remember? I also remember those Calvin Klein ads. I was, a, I still am. I'm a sucker for jeans. Still am. Um, but let's take a look at the Travis earring. <laughs> yes. Remember? I know you're a year too late. You're too late in these earrings. So let's get this earring show on the road. You know, I have been, um, on this kind of seed bead kick right lately. And I have had a lot of iterations with this seed bead kind of wrap. So let's take a look at some of the things <clears throat> we've made. We're going to make these today. I have another couple of ideas for you with these, right? But with this seed bead wrap, we've done this boho bangle last week. And so many of you did bunches and bunches of these, right? 
these seed beads that are wound on the wire that you can put on leather. You folks did these. Well, today we're going to take this idea and we're going to turn it into an earring. Okay. <clears throat> so um, then at the end of the broadcast, I've got a sneak peek for you for next week. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you that as well, but I'll show you at the end of the broadcast. It has to do with this fun thing right here. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So what we're going to use today for these earrings. And it's real similar to what we did with these 11 aught seed beads, if you remember from last week, right? This is with 11 aughts. I used 8 aughts for this one here. This one, I also used the 8 aughts to make that bead. And this was with um, the uh, lakeside mix from this month. Okay. So, uh, what I used here, I used two millimeter leather right here. I used 0.5 millimeter to wrap it. I used, this is the earring, the lever back earring, um, uh, ear wire here. Uh, and I used 24 gauge wire to do the wrap. Okay. Now your experience may vary again with this project. It's so super easy and straightforward that you could use wire in 24 gauge like I did here, 22 gauge. You could even go up to 20 if you wanted to. Okay. Now, uh, you could also, let's see, I'm just looking at the comments here real quick. No, we're good. Okay. Um, so the new seed bead colors, Lynn is asking, will they be back in the shop soon? These new rainbow frost Janice has ordered them. They are on the way. So, um, <clears throat> they should be in, I'm hoping next week, probably, hopefully. Um, but we have, we have them all on order. The eight aughts, the 11 aughts, they're all coming. Okay. So I used in this project today, I used the, uh, this 11, it's the 8-4692. And how fitting, I used the 8-501, this avocado, <clears throat> pardon me, this avocado color from the Lakeside Mix. All right. So those are the two colors that I used here. Um, six aughts, you know, I have some six aughts. We can try it. Barb is asking, would the six aughts work? Would they be too big? Um, I've got the six aughts here. So let's look at them, right? We might as well. Um, I also have some round drucks in four mil as well as four mil fire polish. So any of this would work with this technique. Okay, so let me start by just telling you or showing you um, how we did this. We, meaning I, the royal we. <laughs> so I used two millimeter, which I have here in the natural. I tell you to cut about a, I don't know, six inches, maybe-ish, about that. Let me uh, slide out a little bit here so you can see this. And there we go. Six inches should do it about, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut about six inches here. Okay. The 11 aughts for now, Cindy, thanks for asking. The 11 aughts for now, we're going to be carrying, continue to carry in the short tubes. Only because, I mean, we like them in the long tubes too, but all of our projects, when we have the projects listed, it says one tube of seed beads, right? Or two tubes if you need two. We would have to go back through and amend all of those projects. So for now, the we just don't have the woman power to change all that around. Um Plus, it allows us to carry more of uh, colors in the shorter tubes rather than in the long tubes. Okay, so for now, they're going to come in this shorter tube. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and wind. Shelly, it looks like your comments are coming through. I can see you. If you asked a question, I'm sorry I missed it, but ask it again. 
because I have to keep one eye on the comments <laughs> and one eye on my project. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and cut again. I cut about six inches ish of this 24 gauge. I'm using the bare copper wire because that's what I've got sitting here. So that's what I'm going to use. Let me see if I can get this end out of the bare copper somewhere. I may just cut it. I know, gasp, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, um, let me go ahead and that's, that's about six, six inches ish, right? I know Janice went on vacation and I did do some ordering JP, some ordering, but I wasn't as detailed as you were. So yes, we thank you all for your patience <laughs> on, uh, getting stuff back in, you know, it's only, it's only a few of us. So it feels like Janice says, like, we're always playing whack-a-mole, right? So we are we're always playing whack-a-mole with something, the wish list, stock, the monthly mix, all of it, right? So here's, I'm going to about, if I find the center of this leather right here, and I'm going to go a little bit to the left of center, I'm going to grab this 24 gauge wire and I'm going to start to wrap around the leather, this 24 gauge. And I have a piece of wire underneath my hands here, like so, so I can grab onto it, right? So I'm going to wrap and wrap and wrap just a few wraps like this. Then <clears throat> I'm going to, let me zoom in just a little so you can see this. Remember that piece that I was holding on to before? I'm going to wrap from the back of the, you know, from the, the start of the wrap as well, of the coil around. So see that? So it gets nice and tight around this leather like this. And I don't know, let's see, maybe six wraps-ish, whatever you like it, however you like it to look. Okay, then I've got a little bit of a tail right here. So I'm going to clip that off. And being very careful not to have that wire come up and hit me in the head. Push this little piece of wire down. And there we are ready to go. So you can take a look at that. We're ready to add our seed beads onto the wire. So for the Travis earring, what I did was I did 10 of the green, 10 of the yellow, and 10 of the green. So it was striped, kind of, right? <clears throat> what you can do is you can uh, vary that, right? You could use more or fewer or whatever, whatever works for you. On this one, since we asked, what I did was I did the eights all the way across for this one. Okay, let's try it with the sixes just for fun to see if it works since it was a question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, <clears throat> pardon me, sorry. I'm going to put eight, um, 10 of the eight dots and then I'm going to go to the sixes. Then I'm going to go back to the eights. Okay. Okay, so here's that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let me use, let me also see how these shadows work. Um, let me, let me see here if I can get a few off. Maybe I'll put four on of the little shadows right there. Then let me use the six aughts and I'll put on fewer of those. Let me put on one, two, three, four, and five. 
I'm going to put on five more of the little shadows and then I'll follow it up with eight of the yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I'll call this one the the James earring. Because you know that commercial was meant, I, I don't know what it was actually meant to be, but um, the, uh, you know, that house, it's reminiscent of the movie Giant, right? One of my favorites with Liz Taylor, Rock Hudson, and the original Smolder guy, in my opinion, James Dean, right? If you haven't watched Giant, oh, friends, don't wait. It's perfect for hot weather because they're in Texas, right? In the, in the low country, Texas. And it is, it always feels like it's super hot in the, in the movie. So it's a perfect watch for a heat wave, right? So maybe I'll call this one the James after James Dean. So see here, we've got our eight. We've got our little shadows. We've got our six aughts. I think it works perfectly, right? So let's go ahead and make this match on the other side. About six wraps. Yeah, Giant is a perfect weekend watch, right? Especially if you're um, doing something, right? Like crafting or beading, or sometimes I watch it when I sew. I like to put old movies on when I sew. But Giant is my favorite of the James Dean oeuvre. I love Giant, though I also love East of Eden because, you know, it was filmed, you know, close to my hometown in Monterey. You know, it's a Steinbeck um, vehicle book. And then, of course, Rebel Without a Cause. But Rebel Without a Cause is my least favorite. I don't know. I don't know why it is. But, um, but Giant is definitely my favorite. So here's this one. So let me do the pair. Shall I? Let me get get the pair going. So let me cut another, again, this is two millimeter. And look at how nice this looks with, you can see the wire, but I'm digging it, right? I love it. Uh, so let me cut another piece of two millimeter here. Let's cut another piece of 24 gauge, which is here. Oh, perfect. Where I cut it off, this kind of um, came off here. So perfect. Uh, <clears throat> let me start wrapping it. Hold on to that length of wire. Start to wrap. Jan, you are a 66 baby. Me too. 1966. That's my birth year too. Class of 84, my high school reunion's coming up. We're having an all 80s high school reunion in October. And am I going? You bet I'm going. It's going to be amazing. I had a good time in high school. High school was fun. College was fun, too. It's all fun. Life is fun. Do your best, right? Some parts of high school were horrendous, but, you know, what are you going to do? It was mostly amazing. Um, all right. Here we are. So there's that wrap. Let's put on, what was the count? 10 of the yellow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <clears throat> then I put on five of the shadow beads. It's like I'm going to have to cut this open pretty soon. Two, four, five, right here. One, two, three, four. I need one more. Five. Yeah, some people, high school was not the best experience for them. Like <laughs> my husband, Chris, is all, I'm never going back to a reunion. I'm all, okay. 
but I, I still have a lot of my high school friends and stuff. I don't know. I was, I was lucky. I, I even friends that I knew in nursery school, but you know, Gilroy was a small town. So we all knew each other and stuff for sure. Two, four, five. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have friends going back to nursery school for sure. One, two, three, four, five, and five more. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So here we are. <clears throat> um, let's wrap it around. Yeah, I was I was pretty dorky in high school. I don't know. The beauty of it is, I guess, is that I I don't know. Everybody's dorky in high school, right? So I don't know. I just oh whoops, I forgot the shadows. We can't have that. Um. Let me hold those like this. Let me do this. I was too busy thinking about what I was going to wear in my high school reunion <laughs> for a moment there. Uh, okay, let me take off. Look, at, I'm doing this beading with two fingers here. Like this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. There we are. And like, so there we go. Okay. Now let's put it back through these 10. All right. Back on track. Okay. <clears throat> I did Barb. Thank you. Barb's all, you forgot the other shadows. I sure did, but now they're on. So see when I'm wrapping these six aughts here, friends around, um, you kind of have to give them a little more space because they need, because the bead is a little bit bigger. So as I kind of twirl this around the wire, around the leather, I'm kind of easing up on the, um, on the tightness here. I'm holding these pretty tight, but I ease up a little bit. So there's a little bit of room, if that makes sense. Right. So they're tight visually, but they're not so super tight that they're going to crack, right? Okay. I love it how everybody's reminiscing about their high school years. Some of you went to the same high school the whole time. Melanie went to 10 different schools in 11 years. Wow, that's, br that's brave. I stayed at the same school. And I guess that's why, I don't know, I had the same school for grammar school. Same school for June, then went to junior high and then high school. The same schools as my mom went to the same schools. So, you know, small town experience for sure. Here it is right here. Okay. So I'm going to clip these uh, extras away here. Clip it, clip it. Tighten it. And tighten this one. There we go. Okay. So here we are. Here. <clears throat> and here. They look pretty close, right? So next, and they don't have to be exactly the same, right? I mean, they, it's all right if they're a little different. So let's go ahead and make them into earrings, okay? So you can decide how large you want this loop to be. These were kind of big, okay? So this one, measures about two and a quarter from here, right? Like this. Maybe I'll make these a little shorter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring these together like this into the hoop like that, right? Then um, I'm going to 
the way I made these was, and it was kind of backwards, I think. I came around um, and then I silk wrapped it here. Then I added my loop right here. Okay. What I want to do is I want to grab a loop, a jump ring, and then I'm going to have, so I have something to wrap around. Because can you see here how my loop, since I added my ring second, my two loops are a little off in size. Not that it bothers me too much, but I'm going to get the loop. So let me grab it. Um, and this way, if you do a, a silk wrap around a loop, it doesn't have to be a jump ring. It can be a closed up ring, okay, if you want, right? So let me just get a, um, I used a six millimeter antique brass jump ring. And I thought it went well with the lever backs that I chose. So I'm going to just use the same one, I think. Why not? Okay, so there's those antique brass ones. Let me go ahead and uh, close those up so they're nice and tight. But again, you could use links from chain, whatever, whatever floats your boat, right? Um, I also wanted to say while I'm doing this, I'll tease at this. Um, I'm super excited. I just finalized some plans for a second bead retreat. And I'm going to give you more info on this. I can't quite give you all the info yet, but what I'm going to tell you is it's going to be in France. It's going to be next year and it's going to be in May. So I don't know if there's any of you who want to come to France with me, but it's going to be a week of making an amazing necklace in France. There's gonna be more info. We're gonna have fun. There's gonna to be tours, there's gonna to be all kinds of stuff. I cannot, I cannot flip and wait. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna, um, I'm going to, I'll have more of that info for you. And I have room for nine people. We're gonna have so much fun. Um, so there was a quick question here. Yeah, we're going to shop. We're going to do two shopping tours in the, the flea market and the Vercanti market. It's going to be really fun. So there's a question here that I want to answer. Uh, what did I, how did I wrap the ends? Always has, have issues finishing with finishing with leather. Let me show you this um, real quick before I do that silk wrap, because I think that's an important Part of this. Let me just, I've just cut a piece of this, right? Um, let me get my wire here. And that's where, remember when I showed you just a few moments back, holding the wire and the leather like this together. So I'm hanging on both of them. Then I start my wrap here like that. Okay, now I'm going to wrap backwards. See that there? So I've kind of pulled this wire down so it's at a right angle. And I'm going to come around and do my wraps. Okay, now take a look there. Can you see how it's just a little open, right? It's a little, there's a little bit of space there. I'm going to come in with my bent chain, lay the bent chain right on top of my leather and squeeze to close. Now I'm going to come in with the very tip of my wire cutter. See that clip. Now there's a little, just the tiniest bit of a, of a little point there for the end of the wire. I'm going to use my bent chain, and I'm going to tamp this down just like that. That's it. And I'm going to tamp it down on the other side to make it nice and even. There we go. 
So there's nothing I can feel. There's no little burr there at all. Then I'll continue this, wrap my beads, and finish it off on that side the same way. So I hope I hope slowing that down uh, helps you. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So that's good. Um, I'm just looking at. There's any other questions? Okay. Uh, what size leather? Linda's asking what size leather will fit through the six odds. Well, let's check before, again, before I do that silk wrap. Here's a six aught. I think a 1.5 might fit. Let me see. Yeah, they do. Here's the six aught. Oh, and wrapping at the top. I'm going to show you that next. Perfect. I'll show you that next for the wrapping at the top. Well, at least we've gone over the wire. Uh, so now everybody's on the same page with that. And we'll do this one too. But yeah, see this, the six aughts fit on there very nicely. So let's go ahead and wrap the top of that earring then. Let's get the uh, jump ring, the six millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and use 0.5 millimeter leather for this, okay? <clears throat> now when you silk wrap with the leather, it can be a little fussy. So you want to check the leather. And by fussy, I mean that the leather can break right? Because we're really pulling on it. So before I use leather for a silk wrap, I come in and I check it like this, just to make sure there's no imperfection in the leather that I can't see. Okay. You could instead also use Ceylon. This is the regular Ceylon here that you could use to silk wrap, or you could use Chinese knotting cord in 0.4 or 0.5 millimeter, right? So whatever you want to use. So I'm going to use leather for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put my two strands of the two millimeter through right here. Okay. I'm going to flip it around. I need enough room to make that silk wrap, but I'm going to make this a little bit shorter. I'm going to flip it around. And I need to make sure of a few things at this point. I need to make sure that this is in the center where I want it. I need to make sure that my leather isn't twisted underneath my jump ring. And I need to make sure that the two lengths of leather, my two loops, are the same size. Okay? So... I'm going to silk wrap this on our website on beadshop.com. We have a really great step-by-step -step tutorial on the silk wrapping, but essentially I folded about one third to two thirds of my leather here. I've got the loop of that leather pointing down towards the loop of my earring. And now I'm going to take this long end of the leather and wrap it around everything, right? So it's around my two loops here and my leather and the loop of leather here, okay? The long end. One wrap <clears throat> below the other. Like so. Then this kind of got. I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna bring this end through my leather loop, my 0.5 millimeter leather loop. I'm gonna hang on to all of this with this hand. With this hand, really gently, I'm gonna pull that leather. Now this is where it can all go sideways, right? Because the leather you it it can break, but that's why I've tested it beforehand. Now see where I need to pull that leather in like a silk wrap. You pull that connection up and underneath this wrap here. Okay. So I'm just going to pull it. And I also kind of push 
this leather, the leather wrap down a little bit with my fingers. So between this pull and this push, there we go. I felt that little connection pop up underneath my wraps. Okay. If I want, I can add just a touch of glue. But let me see if I can tighten both of these pieces of leather so that this will be glue free. Let's, let's see. And it's no big deal. You know, if your leather breaks, you can just rewrap it or whatever. A silk wrap isn't a make or break at moment. But see, I'm going to hold this kind of close to the wrap if I can with the pliers because it's kind of hard for me to do it with my hands. There we go. See how I'm holding it here? Now I'm going to pull on both of these. There we go. To tighten. That looks good. Now I think, now see what I've got here. I check my, before I cut, inevitably one of my loops is a little taller than the other. So check it because before you cut, if you have a long piece of leather here, you can kind of scoot that loop down. See, it's almost the same size. There we go. That's equal. And you could use anything to do the wraps on, Leslie. Uh, you could definitely use Ceylon. Ceylon would look great. Chinese knotting cord would look great. I'm using leather because I wanted to kind of have a Western look. See, that broke, but it broke right at the right spot. So I'm fine with it. I'm going to come in. I don't even need to trim that, but I'm going to come in, trim this leather. There we go. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to use my wire cutters for this. And I'm going to clip this wire right up against that silk wrap without cutting the leather. Okay. And again, up next to the silk wrap without cutting the leather. This earring definitely has a front and a back. See, here's the front. And then when I flip it, so you can see those little tails right there but that's the back. It's really fine. So there's one. Let's do the other one real quick. And what I do is I kind of measure. It's hard to get these the same size. Not hard, but you know, you have to kind of be aware of what's going on. So here's this. So it's about like this. Let's put this jump ring through, keeping the leather flat. So let me get this in there and then I'll re I'll resize it. Okay, come on. All right. So here's this. Now let's size it. That goes about right up there. That looks about right. Let's fold it over. Let's check it again. That's about the same size, I think. Um, here's some 0.5 millimeter that's just sitting here, so I'll use it. Make my loop. I point that loop down to the loop of the earring. So now, that's why I start with the loop down, because I like to have this loop that my jump ring is in to be fairly small. Okay, so I bring that one around, continue to wrap. And how many wraps did I do? One, two, three, four, five. So that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Now I'll send the end of this cord through that loop. Pull it up. T 
tighten. Pop that underneath. You need that little connection to come underneath this coil of leather. So I'm going to do that trick of pushing the coil down and pulling this leather up. Like that. Almost there. One more little tug, I think. There we go. I felt it. Just You can feel it with your thumb as it just kind of moves up the, the, the coil there. So now I'll come in. I'm going to cut away very carefully without cutting the leather. Oh, and I'm going to check. These look like they're the right length, so that's good. Pat's watching us from Paso. Paso Robles, one of my favorite places. I love this, that central coast of California. So beautiful. Wine country. More California wine country. There we go. Clip. And let's take a look. We've got these two. So those are ready to go. Look it. Looks great. All right. So now all we need to do, and, you know, I put the ear wires out here where they are. I don't know. You tell me. Let me see. Maybe there's some in here. Maybe I can find. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Ha-ha. Perfect. There are the ear wires. Let me show you how to put them on. Okay. So you can really carefully open the loop, this jump ring loop like this, right? I could rotate it around. There's the opening of the ring. Okay. And here's, so I've got my two pliers. In this case, bent chain. It's a little hard to get these open. Let me see if I can. There we go. See how that's open there? I want to make sure that this is facing front. I put that ear wire on. Now the trick is to get it closed. get it in my focal range and get it closed. There we go. So see that? And then I turn the opening in the jump ring underneath this leather. Okay, like that. So there's one. You can also on these, but you have to be careful. Okay, you can open these loops. I don't recommend it more than like once or twice because this metal will fatigue and this loop will break but you can very carefully grab the loop and open it. See, there's the, hard to see, but the opening is there. You can see my thumb, my fingernails in it. Okay, open it just a little bit more. You can attach that jump ring and then very carefully close it back up. You can do that too. Okay, so let's see uh, what these look like, shall we? I'm going to take the earrings off that I have. This will give you a little sneaky peek. This is the monthly earring kit that's coming out third Thursday. I'm doing a whole series on cousins, not twins. So those are kind of fun. Uh, let me show you this. Let me get myself to the camera here and let's take a look at how these look okay so here's the lever back let's go ahead and put these on Julie you're in Chicago you know I've never been to Chicago I've flown through Chicago but I've never visited I hope to remedy that sometime soon I want to go to the museum and see all of those pictures that I love so much there. So here it is. And look, they're a nice length, right? I think they're a good, a good length. This is the other, the other one that I made, the original Travis. Looks like everybody loves Chicago. Good to know. So see, here's the longer one. Very pretty. 
Here's this shorter one, also good, right? So I think they work out pretty nicely. Let me add this. You can see there's the smaller one and there's the larger one. Let me give you a little sneak peek, folks, of what we're doing next week. I'm going to be broadcasting from a remote location. Uh, since next week is my birthday week, it's also the birthday of one of my nearest and dearest friends. Uh, also from high school, we're all getting together, celebrating all of our birthdays, but I'll still be on, right? Uh, and Wednesday we launch, uh, a lot of really, uh, next week we launch some really cool stuff that you've been waiting for. Let me show you one is this thing that I'm wearing here. The four millimeter leather is going to debut, which is here along with four millimeter clasps. This I've just done a little bracelet, which I think looks great with all of my stacks of things. This is the adventure bracelet and the explorer bracelet. And look at how fun that looks in a stack. So, um, and these, I'm going to talk more about them, uh, in the broadcast and we're going to make some stuff with them too. Um, we also have this class that we're going to, that's launching. I'll play with it more next week right here, this round clasp, which fits that four millimeter beautifully. And then we've got this kind of oval smooth shaped clasp. We have it in the four mil as well as the five millimeter here. Okay. Oh, I love it. Pat, come on down. You'll take me wine tasting. One of my favorite things. We were just there. Chris and I were just there. We had such a good time. I just, I just love that part of California. And also what you folks have been waiting for, right? The new colors of the braided leather and the uh, five millimeter um, I also have it in black. Where's the black? I don't know where the, here it is. The five millimeter in black and the four millimeter. So these are all launching next week. Okay. So, uh, I'll be playing around with those on the broadcast next Wednesday. Um, I've got some ideas, uh, for you to use them. I think they're going to be really, really fun. Uh, we've got more of that coming. As you may know, one of our boxes went missing. So we've got some gray. We've got some of the distress violet coming, hopefully, uh, sometime, sometime. <laughs> when that is, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, but anyway, so that is my story. I'm sticking to it. We did the Travis earring today check out the newsletter or watch the replay and you'll see my inspiration. But these were super easy, super fun. Drea has the project up under the project um, uh, pages on Bead Shop. You'll see it's the two millimeter leather that I used, but you can use any of the leather you like. The 1.5 millimeter would work just as, just as nicely, I think. I use the 0.5 millimeter for the silk wrap here. You can use, again, Ceylon, CKC, whatever works for you, right? On this one, I used a mix of the 8 aughts, the 6 aughts, and my favorite little shadow beads here. These are all 8 aughts right here. And, of course, you can do like I did last week and do all 11 aughts here. We've got our new seed bead colors. You folks love them so much that you bought us out of house and home. Those are going to be back in next week. So make sure and put yourself on the notification list. If you see something that you're out of, an email will drop to you uh, as soon as they're put back in stock. Okay. So that's what I've got for you folks. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you know, let me, let me do it this way for joining me this free tip Friday. Uh, you can hit us up on all of our socials. We're online 
all over at beadshop.com. Hit us up on Facebook at the Bead Shop Bead Table. We'd love to have you join our group on Instagram and on Pinterest. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification button on YouTube. We're building our community by leaps and bounds every day. So thank you so much for watching and supporting our small business. Any questions, always shoot us an email at info at beadshop.com and we will do our best to answer your questions, help with your issues, whatever you need. We're just on the other side of the computer from you. So I will see you folks on Wednesday from a remote location and we'll explore the new leather, the new clasps. I'll have some cool ideas for you to incorporate those into your jewelry and have a fantastic and creative weekend, everybody. As always, we really appreciate your support because without those of you out there, we here at beadshop.com wouldn't be able to do what we love doing. Thanks so much all. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.